Welcome to Virtual STEM Club. I'm Sandy and today we're going to be doing high flying hovercrafts. And you should have already picked up your take and make bag. And inside that take and make bag, you'll find two different sizes of paper plates, two straws, some duct tape, and two balloons. You will also need a pair of scissors for this project. For our first step, we're going to poke a hole in the paper plate. And for our project today, we're going to be using the smaller of the plates that's in your bag. So you want to take your paper plate and a pair of scissors. And you may need some assistance from either an adult or an older responsible person in your household. But you want to take your plate and in the center of the plate, poke a nice size hole in the middle of the plate. And just use caution when you're doing that because we all know scissors are sharp. And you just want to make sure and get your hole big enough for the straw to poke through. And if you have to kind of wiggle your scissors in there to make it bigger, that works. And once you get it big enough, so that your straw will go through, but not so big that you have area around the straw. So just kind of keep working your scissors until you can slide your straw through your plate like that. All right. And so then the next step would be to take your straw and poke it through the plate and make sure when you're doing this you want your plate upside down. So take your straw and stick it through the hole and then set the plate down on your surface, your table, and make sure that the straw is just barely touching the table. You don't want it through so far that the straw is on the table and not your plate, like that. So when your straw is through the paper plate, you wanna make sure that your plate is down far enough to touch the table and that the straw is not really touching the table. Um, you, just, you don't want it up like this because your project isn't going to work. You wanna go ahead and make sure it's down like that. The next step in our project is to attach the straw to the plate with our duct tape. So you'll take your duct tape and I would start with some smaller pieces to do this project. So you want your duct tape and your scissors and a small piece like this. And you'll put it on the plate and the straw and if you need to, you can even cut the duct tape a little bit so that it wraps around the straw a little bit better. And why we're doing this is number one, to make the straw stable. Plus, it's going to eliminate any air leaks from the balloon and help your hovercraft work better. So continue putting your pieces of duct tape and again just kind of put it on the plate and the straw and cut some little pieces like that if you want. It seemed to work better for me to do that. And just keep putting duct tape until you feel comfortable that your straw is attached and just keep in mind 
that the more duct tape you add to your the top of your plate, the more weight you're adding to it, and that might affect the outcome of your project. But if you see any little holes, feel free to put some duct tape on there. And that's what mine looks like with the straw attached. The next step in our project is to change the size of our straw. So you want to look at how much straw is sticking out here and you want to cut it about in half and it doesn't have to be exact. Just take your scissors and cut your straw and set that aside because we'll use that again in a minute. So then take your balloon and take the open end and stretch it over the straw. And then we're going to take some duct tape and attach the balloon to the straw. So, and the trick that I think is most helpful for this part of the project is you want to take your balloon, and you might need some help with this part, is kind of fold it over so that it's tight against the straw and then duct tape it. You want to try to eliminate any air pockets or places the air will escape when you're doing this because the air is the important part of our project. So do that um, as tight as you can. And if you feel like you can put another piece of duct tape down here and you can even take another small piece and tighten it up because you can feel and you can kind of see the ridge where the balloon is. So anything you can do to tighten it up is going to be perfect. So I'm going to take just a small little piece of duct tape. And it's kind of sticky, so take me a second to cut it. Okay. And then I'm going to just try to tighten the contact right here on the balloon and now we're ready for the next step. We're about ready to test our project but the first thing we need to do is put a straw in the bottom of the plate. You can either use the part that you cut off or if you think it will be easier, you can use the second straw that's in your project. And this part is a little tricky too, but you just need to um, maybe fold the straw just a little bit. And again, it's a little tricky because because they're the same size, so you might have to kind of fold it a little bit to get it started and then stick it in so there's as far as you can. And once that's done, we're ready to try to inflate our balloon. Once you get your balloon blown up as big as you think you want it, you're going to take your thumb and your fingers and pinch the balloon so no air can escape. Then you're going to take and pull that additional straw out of the bottom and then take the balloon and set it on the table, straight up with the plate on the table, and then let go. So now that you've had success with your first hovercraft, if you want to try an additional hovercraft, we've included a larger plate and an extra balloon. So go ahead and give that a try. 
when you are doing the project, if you feel like your hole is too big, you can always cut a small piece of the duct tape and tape around the underside of the plate to eliminate the holes. Just make sure that you leave the straw uncovered. Also, if when you're trying to blow your hovercraft up, if you feel like you're losing air this way, try to push your straw in a little further or maybe cover it with your other hand to eliminate the air leaking. Those two things helped me in my project. I hope you have a good time. Thanks for joining us for High Flying Hovercrafts. I hope you enjoyed the project. We'd love to see any video or pictures that you take of yourself doing the project, and you can share them with us at the email address below. Join us next time for our Crafty Kaleidoscopes. See you then.